This is part three of things you may or may not know in Counter-Strike 2. Enjoy. Starting here on Mirage, uh, people who like to come up onto Tetris and jump over the stairs, you know, it makes a lot of noise, that's not going to cut it these days. Uh, there is a better way to do it. So basically, when you jump, just before you land, you want to press S on your keyboard, so it'll look like this, and you won't make any noise. So that'll allow you to push up, so you know, you're just pushing, 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 you've got teammates pushing through here, you're jumping across, there'll be someone stairs, they're not going to hear you land, so they're going to think, oh, maybe he's just took a step on the Tetris, and you should be able to swing and get a free kill. Second item for Mirage, we have on stairs just here, we have two slopes, so we've got a sloped angle here, we've got a sloped angle here, so this is really good for A, when, when we have A and we're in a retake situation as a terrorist. So say we have the bomb planted just in the open. It does a big wide spread, but we'll just show you. Oh my God. It. It's going to land right on site. It's going to get a very good wide spread of outside default, back of triple, front of triple, all that. And on a reverse, if you're a CT that's in jungle and you know they're going to plant on the reverse sides, you can also throw a volley just to the floor. And sometimes it does reach in the back here, but uh, this one didn't. Third item we have is just here under, next to underpass in bottom mid, and it is a boost spot. So we're going to just stand here, and we're going to spawn a bot in. You're going to have a teammate boost you right here, and you can see right into jungle. No one uses this as much as it should be used, because it is just, you, you see a lot. You get a lot of information from this, and people love to just come between window and jungle to look for palace. So give this a go. This is just really good kill potential and tell me how you go for all you b anchors out there we have this quick way to get up into apps that i like to use uh basically just using the back of the van the bumper so we're just going to be running and as you can see you can walk along the whole thing now you never used to be able to do this but they updated it a few months ago and you can walk over this side now so you can pretty much just jump up really quick so hopefully i get it first go we can just jump up and do that and look at that, you're up. Heaps quicker than just jumping on the boxes because it's basically one motion just to get up here. And you know, if you just molly it as you come out the window, jump up, you're pretty set. Moving on over to Vertigo. If you find yourself in mid on T side, you can have a teammate crouch next to you right here, just anywhere along these uh, beams here, these rods. With our teammate crouch next to us, we want to be pre-aiming the connector to B and you just want to jump up and you're going to catch anyone that's off guard. I've scored plenty of kills with this and you should do it too. Moving on over to A ramp now. If you know someone's in headshot and you have an AWP or any high penetration weapon, you can actually wall bang. This was added in an update probably halfway through the time of CS2 has been released and they changed it that this could be wall banged and it's not been reverted so for an AWP this is really good kill potential as it does about 40 to 50 damage and it will one shot to the head. Moving over to the CT side of Vertigo you can have a really nice boost here into scaffolding just have a teammate jump up onto this uh, hazard cone here just standing here this is what it looks like when you're on the head you can see all into scaff and you can see the back of the ramp and the jump up onto ledge on shelf. A very good off angle I've died to this plenty of times, I haven't really done this myself, but I definitely want to do it. This is what it looks like when you're coming up scap. So as you see, I'm not going to be able to clear that. If I'm coming up this way, why would I be looking over here? There's a guy right there. This one's for the Vertigo mid players. You want to have a teammate come mid with you and you want him to stand here. And basically when the round starts, he's going to run there and you're going to run scaffolding. And he's going to stop and you're just going to be able to jump right on over up onto the boxes in mid. It's a very good way to catch someone off guard as it's really quick and it's just one of those little tricks that no one really does. Moving over to Ancient, I've got two tricks for you here and basically this one is for mid players so you can actually make the jump from this ledge here to shelf like the shelf ledge so hopefully I get it first go, let's see. And just like that I got it first go. This is really good to get up on the shelf early and actually contest this as long as you have control of mid, you know, smoked, mollied, and they're not pushing out. Very good to get a quick pick out onto B main. Yet again, you just never really see people do this and it should be used more. If you're in those higher elo games and you find that you're versing someone that's jiggle peeking A main like this, I saw a trick the other day where someone said if you molly the ground where this floodlight is, it turns it dark. And then you can't really see the shadow, so I'll just show you. On my graphics, you can really see the shadow. 
So I, it's not going to work in most cases because it's just how it is, just graphics difference. But what I found with these lights in Counter-Strike 2, basically you can smoke them off. So if I just show you, that's all illuminated. You can see my shadow. If I just smoke it off, that's just going to kill the light. And if someone's jiggle peeking this and they see that that light's gone, they're going to throw their Molotov, they're going to throw their smoke, they're going to burn their utility. I think this is really good potential to just waste enemy utility. Like you're trading a smoke for potentially a molly and more. This just makes it, I think, a really good lurk opportunity. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. And I will keep posting them. So cheers.